Hey there, Ramblers. Chris Gamble here from Customized with another episode of the Digital Ramble with my co-host JJ Cannon over in Houston, Texas. Hey, JJ, how was your weekend? Hey, Gamble. I'm doing good, man. Man, my weekend was great. I, Dude, I had some crazy, crazy dreams last night. First, I was I, somehow I was stuck in a tree, had steak wrapped in foil, and I was trying to, I don't know, grill it somehow. And then the yard guys were like, hey, man, you need to move your ladder so we can mow. And then the next thing I knew, I was like with the Russian CIA trying to measure shades. And then I went upstairs and Ron Callis is up there saying, dude, you guys are killing it. <laughs> it was it was crazy. I woke up and I was like, honey, pinch me. Yeah, man, it, it was crazy. And that was after eating some pancakes at IHOP last night. I don't know what they put in my pancakes, but it, <laughs> it was crazy. Pancakes, cookies. Oh. I think you were eating something a bit funky last night. Oh, man, I don't know. It was crazy. How about you? How was your weekend? Good, yeah, back to it today. Uh, so I had a good weekend at home, but back in London where I'm, I am right now, I uh, just stepped out of a project we're working in in Battersea. Uh, so making time for the show in between all the, the busy installation diary we've got at the moment. Man, I, I thought you were like shooting the new 007 movie or something like that. Yeah, I don't think it's in the script that there's a ginger James Bond. I don't think so. <laughs> funny, funny. <laughs> hey, man, you know, today's episode is going to be epic. Last week, you know, we started a new season and it was like, what can we do with $3,000 for a smart home? And it just... We, crushed it man the responses that we're getting from people has just been has been awesome and friends of the show the digital ramblers out there we thank you for sharing our content with all your friends hey there we go we have a viewer in the back hey how are you <laughs> and uh, it's a live show as you can tell <laughs> absolutely yeah so you have to watch the video for that yeah and uh yeah man just crushing last week's episode so we're going to do it again and really, to be honest with you, Gamble, I, th I think I won last week's challenge, although... Well, I was going to bring that up, actually. <laughs> I'm going to say it's 1-0 no. <laughs> to the Gamble Ramble. I've had interaction with our audience. And I think the, the smart coffee machine and the, the use of voice control tipped it in my favor. Okay. All right. Well, today, today we're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe again. We're going to drop another what can I do for three grand... That's smart, cool, easy to use, affordable, compact, minimalistic, all that good stuff. You know, in the Knowles style, you know, as we call it. So, all right, you ready to get up in it? Let's go, episode 32. 32, go. All right, Gamble, give me your scenario. Okay, so... First scenario is my turn this week. So I'm working with a £2,400 budget, which is roughly US dollars And my scenario is, again, I'm drawing on real life here because I'm, I work much better with things that we've done in the past or that are upcoming for us. And this is actually helping me get some quotes done, actually. <laughs> um, so a new job out of town means that I'm only home at the weekends for the foreseeable future. I need a tech injection to provide me with additional security at the front and rear of my house. I want some control over the heating and I want some alerts from the house if anything goes wrong, uh, like a fire or a flood. So tackling the outside first, I'm going to look at lighting again. I do think that lighting can be a, a cost effective visual deterrent. So. I'm going to stick with Lutron because it's my tried and tested brand that I use for lighting. It just works. And just like I did last week, I'm going to add in some controls for the front, rear, and side lights of this property. Uh, to do that, I'm going to add three Lutron relays that are just going to switch those lights on and off, either on a schedule, timers, or they'll be on a, a random scene like a, like a smart away feature. Those lights you can control from away from home as well, and you can also control them with uh, voice control. So some smart lighting to take care of the outside lights. I'm going to double up on the security though outside just so I've got some eyes and ears outside. I'm going to go with some CCTV, and I'm going to choose a brand that maybe not a lot of you know, but I'm going to use Unify. You'll know that brand, but did you know that they did CCTV cameras? I'm going to use 
two Unify Video G3 cameras. You're going to mount them on the outside of the building, connect them up to their hard drive that, that you buy with it, which will allow me up to 50 cameras capacity, so I can really expand this. And that will give the, the customer eyes and ears on the outside of the property. This is a camera system that doesn't rely on Wi-Fi or the internet. These are hardwired cameras that talk to a hard drive. You've got plenty of storage there for days and days and weeks of, of, of footage that the cameras might record. You're going to have excellent night vision, and you're also going to be able to hear what's happening there because they have a microphone built into them. That can be viewed on your smartphone, tablet, uh, and you can also put it up on your TV, wherever you are. Uh, if you're in another location, you could view it on, on, a t on a smart TV. Sticking with security, I still think the front door needs a little bit of extra tech just for those deliveries, visitors to the house. Going to add a smart doorbell. Going to go with a Nest Hello. And that's going to allow me to talk to whoever visits the property while I'm at work. Um, I've got some cloud recording so I can view back if I missed the, the call, that I can see what's happening uh, at the property and, and maybe where the package was left or, or who, who visited and, and, and maybe get in touch with that person if it was a neighbor or friend. Now, I was going to put in a smart door lock, and this is the curveball I said I was going to do, and I'm not going to put in a smart door lock, but the reason is, because I'm not maybe going to come back to that property or this person's not going to come back to that property for a few days, how do you know that that door's been shut correctly or not been wedged open? So I, I'm going to not do a smart door lock, and I was tempted to. The remaining budget I'm going to use for sensors inside the home. So I'm going to add a smart smoke detector, Nest Protect. That's going to give me some alerts if, smart, if smoke or carbon monoxide is uh, picked up. And then I'm also going to add a couple of flood sensors, two for one good reason. I'm going to put one under the kitchen sink where the mains water comes into that building. Typical in the UK home, that's where your, uh, your stopcock will be to turn off your water. And I'm also going to put one in the utility room where you've got appliances like washing machines. Maybe uh, you've got a, a sink there for laundry. Another area where you may get burst pipes or you may get a leak uh, from it from your pipe work so flood protection smoke and carbon monoxide protection smart doorbell cctv cameras and some lighting i'm aware that i've not addressed the smart thermostat i'm going to be very straight up with this client and say look you've got an existing thermostat let's just set a schedule uh, for a minimum temperature we don't need that home and away smart learning, which goes against the grain maybe for the show. I think they could easily use their existing thermostat and just deploy sensible timers or minimum uh, temperature levels to keep an eye on that property. So budget, put the kit list in the comments below, but it came in at about £1,700 again on materials, which is very similar to last week. That leaves me a budget of nearly 700 pounds for installation. I'm gonna do that installation in a day. It's gonna be about 600 pounds, two technicians, probably less than a day. So I'm coming in at 2,300 pounds. Again, 100 pounds under budget. Could I have squeezed in a thermostat? Maybe, maybe, but again, I've left some money there that it could be revisited in the future. Uh, so that's my proposal for a bit of a tech injection to keep an eye on your home when you spend time away from it. Man, I love that. That is a really nice kit for, for three grand gamble. You know, the other thing that you really didn't touch on is how you can integrate those different devices together. And what I love is like your, uh, your nest aware, you can, or, uh, you can actually integrate it with like your Lutron lights and things like that. Mm -hmm. So if there's a smoke alert or something like that, it'll turn on all your lights, whether they're inside or outside, however you like to configure it. And then they unify, I, I don't really use their camera solutions here, but it sounds, it, but I have seen it like on your Instagram post and things like that where y'all are applying it in a lot of cool variety of ways. So, yeah, I like that kit, man. That's, yeah, I, I, that's I like strong. the CCTV because there's not a subscription for your recording. Uh, so it's something you can, you can have as 
you know, like I say, up to 50 camera capacity. Um, your recorder could be used for multiple properties. You could have cameras at holiday home, primary home, workplace, all through one recorder. And no monthly fees for, for building up a, a security system for your home. I like it. I like it. That's cool. So everything's going to be down in the description down below if people are, you know, interested in, you know, exactly what that what that uh, list is that Gamble just went through. And uh, so that's your security package. I got the outside. Yeah, so I got a, lot, a lot of outdoor tech, and we're going to stay outdoors for your for your scenario. Yeah, man, I, I got the I, I drew the the straw for outdoor tech, and it, and pretty interesting because I had a client uh, holler at me uh, about a week and week or two ago. Trace Trace called me over. He's like, Jay, I need you to come by and look at my house. I was like, all right. He's like, I got this outdoor entertainment area. And I was like, all right, Trace, I'll, I'll come on by. And he he uh, takes me out into the back. He's like, look, I got 20 acres back here in the backyard. Over there, I want to I wanna put a fully loaded bass pond. Over there, you can see I got my deer feeder. And right over here, I got my chickens where my chickens are roosting and, and laying eggs. And then you can see that we got this pool here. And during the summertime, I want to bring all my friends over. So that we can listen to some music and have some, you know, have some drinks. I was like, okay, Trace, I think that's something that, that we can help you out with. And he's like, now, whenever I'm away, I want to make sure that I can see everything that's happening out on my property. But my deer feeder is way over there, and I want to make sure that it's dropping corn and that the deer are finding the corn. And then I want to make sure my chickens are all right. And then my wife, she just made a major investment here on this landscape. And we want to make sure that these yellow roses are taken care of on a regular basis because there's some money in these yellow roses here. And we're in Texas, so, you know, you got to take care of your yellow roses, right? So I was like, Trace, let me see what I can put together for you. And, you know, the other thing is is that he's he's running around his property, and like most people, they're, they're just streaming content like music he's listening to george Strait, willie nelson georgia florida georgia line things like that off of his phone and is sucking his data because he can't get wi-fi out on that back area and so what we did gamble is i i suggested to trace i said trace why don't we do like an eero wi-fi kit for you you know and it comes with uh the eero pro and it comes with a couple of beacons and with that eero pro it'll improve the wi-fi connectivity throughout your property and these beacons you can plug them into the electrical outlets so if we find any gray spots it's real easy we can plug them into place and through the app it'll tell us if we actually placed it in a good spot or maybe we need to look for a better location in addition with having that flexibility gamble we can take that other beacon and we can plug it outside so now it can throw and cast wi-fi across the, his backyard and as you know, we go out towards the deer feeder. He had like a little uh, pump for his uh, for his water well, and at that water well, he had electricity. So now we could put another beacon at that location and kind of hop that Wi-Fi to really get good spread across his entire property. So it'll help um, one with the streaming music on a cellular phone, but also for this camera solution that, I, that I'm putting together for him in my mind, as he's telling me. Now for those yellow roses, our go-to for irrigation, irrigation's really big down here in Texas because it's hot. Now you've been telling me about this heat wave that y'all are having over there, like 30 degrees Celsius, and so I asked Madam A what 30 degrees Celsius is, and I almost fell out my sofa at what a heat wave is over in London for those of you that don't know is around 84 85 degrees which is like uh, our winter <laughs> right mike <laughs> mike mike he, hey mike get back on the board he's on the ground laughing hysterically <laughs> but uh but irrigation ratio man ratio is the ticket for us you can get them in an assortment either like in an eight zone or a 16 zone trace only needed it in an 18 zone and what's cool is you can take a picture of each of your irrigation zone you can set it up to where it's, uh, is it in the sun, not in the sun? What kind of plan is it? And it, then it's the only system that actually connects straight to your local weather in that particular area. So it knows how much water is actually, you know, coming naturally and irrigates accordingly. 
fantastic solution. That guy's pretty affordable too. Now out at his pool, you know, for the fellas and gals that come over and they wanna they wanna have a good time and and listen to, you know, some I don't know George Strait and things like that out at the pool. He already had a pair of speakers. He already had a pair of speakers up there in his, in his cabana, and uh, so Sonos amp all day long. Connect that Sonos amp up to his Eero Wi-Fi system. You can do it hardwired or you can do it wireless, so it's super flexible. Comes with 125 watts per channel, you know, so you can really pump out some good quality sound out there at that pool. And then what else did I throw? Oh, so for his chickens and for his deer feeder gamble, what I looked at and what I proposed for him is this uh, ring stick-up cam with a solar panel which is super cool. And so you stick up your ring solar uh, stick up cams and you can f face one right at your uh, right at the deer stand and then stick up that solar panel so it's always staying charged because sometimes you can't get your wire out there. And the, the cool thing about the stick up cams, they work on Wi-Fi, right? And so with Wi-Fi and with the solar panel, you don't need power. You don't need to run a hard wire Cat5 out there and, and you're good to go. Same thing with this chicken coop. He was afraid that, you know, you get some uh, chicken snakes up in there or maybe, you know, you get some uh, possums, not possums, what are those things, uh, bobcats. You know, you get bobcats out there attracted to those chickens, and he wanted to make sure that those guys were safe. You got the automatic door and stuff like that for the chickens, but he wanted to keep an eyeball on them. So I, I suggested some stick-up cams. And the other thing, because we're way under budget on this one, Gamble, that's why I'm just going to crush you on this one. But the other thing that, I'm, that I suggested to him was getting this thing called the meter. And the meter is this, uh, this little stick that you can put in your, uh, into your meat when you're barbecuing and it has like a 160 foot range you know so he doesn't have to stay right there by a steak making sure that it's you know at the right temperature he can go over and have you know have some drinks with the fellas and then whenever his meat's right he gets a notification all of that cool stuff like a hundred uh, like 1704 1704 dollars that's not installed. Plus installation. Plus yeah. installation. It it probably cost him about six hundred bucks. You know, maybe six seven hours for us to. Oh, you're well under. You're well under. I know, man. I know. But that's the thing about these solutions, Gamble, is that you know if a client has a problem, and if they have a budget, you know, Trace was like, Jay, I got three grand. What can you do for that? He was over the moon that I was able to get him something that was under his budget. But also add a little bit more of wow to the whole to the whole thing, you know, with that little meter, which is which is pretty fly. So you know, like the Eero is like four hundred bucks. The Ratio Eight Zone is like one hundred and fifty bucks. That Sonos amp is like six hundred bucks, which just crushes, you know, the uh, for streaming and power, the whole nine yards. Those stick up cams, two twenty nine each. That comes with the solar panel. That meter. Wow. 99 bones man 99 dollars 1704 plus a little bit of labor mama is a happy lady and so is daddy now I, I do get one overriding uh theme though from your installation is uh, that the reliance on wi-fi yeah that Eero wi-fi system is crucial and it's just going to be the it's going to be the lifeline for all these devices plus the personal devices they're carrying, their phones, their tablets, friends. When their friends are over, can they? Does Eero allow you to set up a guest network? Yeah, that's what's super cool about uh, the Eero. You can set up a quickly. You can set up a guest network and then set it up as a time limit. So, okay. so if they log into the network, that's a fantastic question, Gamble. If you give them access. It's like, hey, man, you, you get access to my Wi-Fi, but it's only for an allotted amount of time. So if they come back over to your house, you give them another allotted amount of time that they have access. It's not like they come back and automatically they're connected to your guest network, which is pretty fly. Yeah. No, that's, I'm staggered that you're getting all that tech uh, professionally installed, under budget. Um, gee, if this was one house, it's starting to become a pretty awesome awesome house with a family room and kitchen last week all the outdoor tech that's gone in uh, this week uh, and outdoor tech was a theme of an episode we did well, i want to say about six or seven weeks ago episode 25 yeah episode was, 25 where we're doing like smart spaces and we were talking about that yeah. outdoor space that, that's a pretty cool one friends if you didn't watch that go to our uh actually 
go to our website at digitalrambleshow.com and you can find all of our you know episodes that we've done in the past uh, you can either look watch them on youtube facebook or listen to them on podcasts but friends check out our website it's pretty awesome it's pretty cool i have to say cool so please leave in the comments uh, any observations and feedback on the two systems that we've proposed there and if you've got any suggestions or uh if you've got any experience with these products and, and you've used them and let, let people know that, you know, the, the highs and lows you're having with them, you know, we, we know that technology can sometimes be a bit frustrating. So tell us and, and maybe we can help or others that, that watch and leave comments can, can also help you with any tech queries you've got. Sticking with the regular format of the show, did Gamble Ramble last week. We've got the big gun out today, Cannon Fire. You got anything for us, JJ? Absolutely. Mike, fire the cannons. Main gamble last week. Last week was an absolutely incredible week. Sonos uh, invited a bunch of dealers from across the country to come out and visit their headquarters there in Santa Barbara, California. And, you know, it, it's, it's always fantastic when a large group of dealers are able to, to – come together and share ideas of successes and challenges that they might see in their businesses. And what I always tell people and what I have learned uh, in our industry is it allows me as a business owner to take uh, ingredients from everybody's successes and be able to stir up, to be able to make my own out of you know the information that we that we uh, provide one another which ultimately as an industry makes us stronger you know and so i really greatly appreciate sonos inviting us out showing us their headquarters they walked us through their lab gamble i did not realize as well as the entire room of people i don't think any of us realized the type of stress tests that uh that sonos puts their hardware through to make sure that the color lasts, to make sure that the Wi-Fi is rock solid, to make sure that it doesn't uh, fail under extreme 30 degrees Celsius temperatures, you know, that, that you might find, uh, you know, in, in different regions of the world, as well as like drop tests and water tests. It's, it was ridiculous. I also got to go into their chamber to where they're doing all their sound calibrations to make sure that the crossovers and the chips are, are set correctly to give clients the best performance, you know, that their product can provide. It was eye opening to, to say the least. What was that chamber like, JJ? What was it like inside? It's supposed to be a bit of a strange feeling in your, in your senses. I I felt like this, you know, (laughs) it's a, it's a, it's a giant chamber. It's probably anechoic chamber. yeah, Yeah. Yeah, it's probably about 60 to 75 feet in height. And, you know, the floor is suspended in there. And the floor is kind of like a spongy floor. And then they have this custom microphone array with another microphone firing at it with some white noise that they uh, produce out of the variety of speakers that, that they test out of there. And then you got the you got the whiz uh, kids that are outside crunching numbers and looking at sine waves and sound waves and Z waves and <laughs> I'm sure they're watching some surfing waves in there too, you know, because Santa Barbara is a big surfing community. Yeah, but yeah. man, it was it it was special. And I was also I also had a, a chance. I don't know if anybody was checking out my uh, Instagram at Digital Delight One, the numeral one. If not, please follow Digital Delight. But on there, I posted a picture. I got a little I got a little uh, side time, and I found a Sonos Play Bar, and I grabbed myself a Phillips screwdriver and a hammer and took that bad boy apart real quick because you know in our industry it's like you know which way is up you know, with the Sonos play bar. And so I got in there and figured it out and, you know, go back through my uh, Instagram page. I'll, I'll pop that picture back up in there for those that, that didn't so to, see it. To, to put everyone out of their misery then. Yeah. You know, I always think the golden rule is with the Sonos play bar, the silver bar should be away from the screen. So if it's down below, the silver bar is the lowest element of this play bar. If it's above the TV, 
the silver bar should be facing up the way. Yeah, and you're right because it, when she take the grill off, then you know it's molded. The the speakers are molded in a way to optimize its direction that that you are sitting. So if you're sitting down, if it, if that sound bar is down below, then it's optimized for your sitting range. If the sound bar is above the television, then it's optimized to fire down towards your sitting area. So. Yeah, man, just a fantastic, enchanted week there in Santa Barbara. And thank you, Sonos, for inviting myself, but also all these other dealers out, you know, to to really understand uh, what Sonos is, is providing um, their consumers and why. Why are they doing what they do? So, so thank you, Sonos. And that's my cannon fire. That's awesome. Well, I, I must say, I did send you a couple of messages during the week saying that I wasn't jealous one little bit. I, 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 I was quite happy. I felt some away disdain in, the UK in your, while you were in your in voice. California I, beaches and I heard your ladders spa. banging around back there in the van, and I'm like, oh, damn, I don't want to tell you how. It's horrible over here. It's raining. <laughs> Nobody's happy. It, it was a miserable time. It was horrible. Don't ever go to Santa Barbara. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so episode 32, that's a wrap. Reminder again, if you want to know more about the outdoor tech, we did a specific episode, episode 25. Go and search for that on YouTube, Facebook, and also listen to the podcast on the 11 platforms it's on. Participate in the show, leave comments, like, share. We love the shares. We love also the, the engagement. Hit that little thumb, heart, smiley face, the wow. Hit them all until you get blocked like I do every week. So join us next week for another part of the $3,000 Smart Home Challenge. JJ, it's been a real pleasure to catch up with you again, sir. Hey, brother, you looking Hollywood over there. It's looking nice. <laughs> it, it don't look like some heat wave to me. Looks like a Hollywood set. Top Gun 2. Top Gun 2. All right, brother. <laughs> See you next week. Take care. Take care. Every month, the Digital Ramble will receive a regular source of income from supporters who've pledged through Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, having your ongoing support means we spend less time thinking about business and more time creating quality content for you. Customized, based in Norfolk, England, are proud sponsors of the Digital Ramble. Check out our all set up services. It's smart home installation with ease customize.uk.com If you're looking to make your basic home smart, check out digitaldelight.com forward slash shop where they have a variety of different smart home technology solutions that help make smart home shopping easy for you. Check out digitaldelight.com forward slash shop.